Welcome back, guys. My name is Vivek. So this is the session number five related to a microservice series. So, so today uh, we are going to discuss the implement client side load balancing using Fink client. Fink client is the by default providing the load balancer uh, load balancing functionality and implement API gateway also. So just we need to go through the last sessions. So we completed about uh, that. Uh, uh inter communication so inter communication like inter service communication we completed so if you want to those are people first time visiting our uh, channel and watching this video so you can collect the note from our uh, facebook group in the facebook group i take a study park group name is there so just i am um, going to download the last class notes okay so just uh, microservice port, yeah, just download this. Okay, open. So last class we completed, create one more microservice, like we created the REST API as well and implement a Fink client, how to work with the Fink client. Those are people don't know to go and last, uh, watch the last video. And uh, what happened, I think, Okay, so now uh, the communication one microservice to another microservice is called the intercommunication we have. So we completed these things. So practical code is always code is also there. Okay, after that I am completing. After that I have completed. I will put this microservices and my GitHub repository, and then I will share that. Okay, so these are completed last sessions so today we are uh, going just i'm um, one more time run that our microservices open so you can get the clarity about how much we completed and the our workplaces microservice apps okay so so here uh, we completed up to this guys mm -hmm. We completed how much? We completed Eureka registry and Fink line. Okay, come intra communication is completed and admin server we completed. Jipkin server is completed. That's the last video. So now today we are going to complete. Today we are going to complete uh, the part Java. Okay, today we are going to do what is that? One more micro services. Okay, just I need to move some more together. Okay. So now this is nothing but an API gateway. We can see API gateway. Gateway. API gateway we have. Okay. API gateway having two things. First thing is the routing and filter. Filter that and route. Route that your request. So API gateway is the entry point of your application. Right. API gateway is your up entry point of your application, guys. What happened? I don't know. Okay. So API gateway is the entry point of your application. So how? this is working so this is also uh, the client is working as a client of your application like eureka registry you should register this microservices with that uh, we are with that register you need to register this microservice we create as a microservices and register with that uh, eureka server in the eureka server so how it is working like this is also working as a client for the Eureka registry, like service registry. So we need to go after that. We just, I, I will show that, okay, how much we are completed. So how to perform the load balancing by using Fink client, okay. So load balancer point of view, we create a multi instance for this microservices. Okay, we created multi instance, right. We created three instances for this microservices. Then I will show the how much 
So we are getting the request and the servers are uh, distributing the request by using sync client. Okay. After that, just I'm showing one thing. Yeah. Okay. So over we have completed service registry. So just go here. Okay. Just run this. Okay. Click on run button. Slowly, slowly we are going to run. Okay, don't worry. I'm teaching a slow. But once you watch the video, you will not go anywhere to watch any other materials. Okay. So local host, let me speak. Eureka is coming. So I need to start one thing also. What is that? Public Jipkin server, not AWS. Microservices, Jipkin server, I need to start, but because we provide the configuration, Java, hyphen, jar, this is the simple jar, tap, and it is running, and start that admin server. Okay. Now, these are things are totally optionally, okay, when we are developing a microservices architectures, okay, these are optional. We are not required to every time implement, but the standard way we have like that. Okay. So this is admin server is also running. Let me check up or not. I think admin server port is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think so. Admin server port is 2024, right? So yeah, up and chipkin also, you can see local host. 9411. Okay, so now Jipkin is also so now we need to run our microservices. So, the, here you can see we have a say hello web API. This is the web API. Okay, so in the web API, we have one method hello name. Okay, passing that name, it is printing your name. Okay, so I this microservice, this microservice, I am calling from the grid api so grid api we implement fin client fin client we pass the three say hello web app api name we in the registry in the registry you can see in the registry just refresh not right now is not running now so we put it this name on that okay so that's why three so when we hitting hello name then it will call that microservices with that name and invoke here inside the controller fin client api and call this and concatenation with it okay up to this is clear guys okay now so just run this okay just i want to show one more time So let's see which is port. So our say API is running 101 port. No? So I don't want to hit this API. I want to hit 1011 API. So just localhost 1011 greet uh, like what is that endpoint? Let me check what is that endpoint, guys. Okay. What is the endpoint? Greet and slash name. Okay, but pass that your name. Wait. So you will get the response here, right? You will get the response from where? In the hello API. Okay, in the hello API as well as your uh, greet API. Hey, this is the response from the greet API. This is the response from where? This is the response from your. Uh, welcome api so now let's do one thing i need to perform the load balancing okay so what is the load balancing first i need to explain okay so here load balancer suppose your application is running on one server right now we are running on one server right now you can see that your application is running on one server we have one instance is available okay so so when the request multiple like thousand or one thousand of requests are coming under the particular server at the one server then your server will crash definitely okay when you are when suppose we have your application app app 
we have at the server. Yes, okay. Only we have a server. So multiple requests are coming from the user. Like thousands of requests are coming. Okay. Thousand, suppose. In the one or uh, one millisecond, in the one second, it is thousand of requests are coming. In one second, in one second, one thousand of requests coming. Come, right. Thousands of requests are coming. Then what is the uh uh what is that uh, position for this server? This server will crash. Definitely, this server will crash. When the more requested request, requested this server, then the server, then the server will will crash. Right and next thing is also server will crash and when server will crash and a next point response will slow response is down response is down like response is slow you can say response is slow and next is application is down application is down so these are the regions these are the regions okay So now these are the regions we need to deploy our application in the multiple servers. We need to deploy our application in the multiple servers. So right now we deploy our application in one server. Which is the one server is the like 101, 100011, 101, right? So I need to deploy like one API you can deploy like say hello. Web API, I need to deploy in the multiple servers. Okay. So, what is that example? So, we have one app. Okay. We have one app. Right. That now we have support. <clears throat> yeah. In the web app, suppose we have one welcome API. What is that? Web app says web app <clears throat> like hello app. Hello API we have. Okay. We have one hello API. So we can deploy this Hello Web API in the same application in the multiple servers. Okay, in the multiple servers like S1, S2, we can take it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not this. Let us go to okay. S1. Right. S1 server we have. S2 server we have. Right. And the S3 server we deploy inside the S3 server we deploy our application and S4 server also we deploy our application in that for that high availability and zero downtime we get that okay by using this and yes but so now these are four <coughs> 
five servers we have okay so now how to send the request into the five servers is there any way so when we send the request to multiple servers in the same application one uh, very good uh, component come into the picture called the load balancer okay so load balancer is we have a one load balancer we can say lb okay we can say that lb right lb we have one load balancer load balancer is doing nothing it's doing distribute the request to your multiple servers in the round robin function how this is working round robin functions okay then first it will go into the first server then second third fourth fifth fill again start with the one two three four five six like that round robin function it is working so now when we get the requested when we request to the server when the request to the server when request to the server like that is there is a request to the server then load balancer will load balancer will distribute that uh, request to the multiple servers distribute the request to the multiple server request distribute to the multiple servers the load balancer responsibility is this okay i will show you that so this is the load balancer functionality so load balancer is doing it is distributing that uh, traffic to the multiple server simple one thing understand load balancer here here what is that load balancer is doing here you can get it the load balancer is here load balancer is <clears throat> load balancer is doing uh, distributing the request to multiple servers okay so now suppose we have down the server, we down the server one, then the, your application will down, application response will down. No, the load balancer is check the health of this, your application. If your server health is good, then the load balancer send the request to your server. If the, your load balancer health is down, no, sorry, your server health is down, then load balancer send the request to another server like that. Okay like that like that like that it is same to one server second server third server fourth or fifth server like that if any server is down your application will not down so by using round robin fashion fashion round robin fashion round robin function right okay why using round robin function like one two three four five like that okay like that round robin is one two two three four okay five five and again start with one okay start with two and three and four and five like that this is the round robin function we get it load balancer now this is the load balancer is nothing but client side load balancer who is the responsible no sorry this is the server side load balancer this is the server side side load balancer this is the server side load balancer. This is not a client side load balancer. Why? Because this is managed by <clears throat> the client will get the request to that load balancer. Load balancer distribute that uh, request to the multiple servers, right? But we have an, another way to do the same thing. So in that in that our example, we are doing the client side load balancing. This is the load balancing. So simple here is the responsible is the load balancer is the responsible right to distribute the servers distribute that request send request to that multiple servers but here in our 
position yes the client itself send the request to multiple servers like client is nothing but our uh, thing client we have right thing client is the responsible to send the request to multiple servers the client is also we can say this is app thing client thing client okay Flink client is the responsible to send the request first server, okay, and uh, second server, okay, third server. No one here is the so this is our client side load balancing. What is that client side load balancing? side load balancing right so this is the server side load balancing this is the client side load balancing so we are going to do client side load balancing okay so now just i think you understood this point so now go into the implementation of this how to run so first we need to run our application in multiple servers so i need to run mm -hmm. Just I am giving here so we can understand. Okay, so now this inside this. So <clears throat> I will uh, run. What is that? Run. Not any API I can run. No? So <clears throat> run. <clears throat> what is that API we have? Mm -hmm. Hello API. Hello. Web app run in multiple server well, server server right like right now it's running on only 101 server right so i need to run 101 one so 1000 server i need to run and 1001 server and 1002 server i need to run so only this server I need to run into the three server. Just if you go five server also you can take. Okay, five server one zero zero two three. Okay, one zero zero four. Okay, five server we get it. So now, now next run greet API in single server. Well, server server like which server it is running on was i think so one zero one right okay so let's do this okay how we can achieve this so first you need to do first you need to do in the say hello app close this in the say hello app go and remove this port 101 we need to comment this port also so we need to comment why because we need to put not that we need to put we need to put dynamically port for this application so first we need to stop this application stop here you can check it is down right now it's down not running Okay, so we need to put dynamically how to give the port in the dynamically. So just we implemented thing client here. Mm -hmm. okay okay so what we need to do mm -hmm. right click and run run configuration inside the configuration we have uh, vm argument inside the vm argument hyphen d server dot port equals to one zero 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 i need to run this on the port so run that application 
So now let's see it is running or not. Up, 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 up or not, upping or not. Let me check info. What is that meaning? False. That the greeting API 10011. Not a greeting API. Yeah, okay. what is that the status of this? Okay. Now it's giving exception. Oh. See hello API I need to run. Run configuration. Python D equals to one thousand. It's good to it should be run. Let me see what is it is. To discovery client directa. Okay, so we need to stop this all these things. Okay, so maybe it's unable to refresh. Okay, now it's down. Everything is down. Admin server is also down. Jipkin is good, not an issue. So we run this. Run. Configuration. Not run, not configuration. Run simple application. I think both. Uh, registry is running okay now it should run the admin run admin server admin server is up or not let me check okay now i need to run say hello configuration run configuration argument vm okay so d server dot port equals to 1000 just apply and run let me check it's running or not actuator 1000 have been running or not let me check just not coming what this not Okay, let's we need to okay null in registry it is not coming okay let me check one more time say hello application just say hello pre up is there so i need to delete this first okay hello yes save it and uh, run right click run configuration admin okay admin server is not okay so what we need to do admin server is running okay well, because and here you can select this admin server. we need to select okay. wait 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 i need to stop all these things first okay so it's down. It is also down. Okay. So now go and run this. 
run spring boot app run the admin server run spring boot app okay let me check up this is also up why it's not up which port is this taking 1000 it's taking just i need to remove that port run configuration okay in the, the argument i need to remove it, apply and close it and here okay. so everything is the learning guys okay now it's perfectly right click run configuration you can observe all these things right now is the admin server no? just select hello web api argument now you can pass iphone d server dot port equals to 1000 right apply and run Now it's not coming in. It's not coming in. Have done. This caching problem, right? It's a caching problem. Okay, yes, I need to stop all these things again. Admin server is stopped now. So I need to run and clean. Where is the clean project? Clean that. Clean, 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 clean all project. Clean that. okay everything is clean right now so i need to run this server run this eureka application expose the port the client done okay let me check running Okay, run that admin server. Admin server, let me check code is given or not. Resources by ML 2024 admin server. Now it's perfectly run. Okay, so now run that admin server done. Hello, run, run configuration. Admin server is choosing na? here. You can say hello argument i fund d <coughs> server dot port equals to 1000. Run apply. Now it's up. See coming or not. Yeah, your server is coming in the one. Now I need to run one more time. One more server, five server I need na? configuration argument one zero one run. Okay. So here you can check one more server. Now we have up in the two instances. Availability zones are two instances are available right now. Run the configuration again. We need to pass argument two. Okay. Apply run. How we can identify that server? I will uh, put something. Just I'm showing to how to run multiple server, right? So one more thing, I run configuration. One more time, <laughs> argument three. Yeah, five server. How to request going round robin function? I will show you. Don't worry, just be with me. Yeah? It will take a time. It will, it's totally practical sessions we have. Yeah. Okay, so now here you can see running the four servers right now 1010210310101. Okay, 
So now run, <coughs> run on one more time. Configuration fourth server. Right? Fourth. Fourth number is four three. But if you pass in these as a, <coughs> in the properties file, you will not pass, like you will not run your application in that server, right? Different different server. But because we are in the running in the local machine, that's why we are doing this thing. But if you are going to uh, run in the AWS in the cloud, don't do these things, okay? It will take it will also run in the different different port. It will also provide the different port in the different server. Yeah. So now let's see. Now we have in the four five servers right now. So run that um read API also. Mm -hmm. Let's bring boot app. Right. What happened with this API? Let me check. It is not running or like anything else is happening. Okay, why well, because I have changed that name now. So something wrong. Read API. Okay. And that's why it's run. Configuration is taking read API. Why well, it's taking the port here? Remove this. Apply. Now it will take from the properties. Now take care about this, okay? Sometime it will happen. Now your API is coming. Now we have completed running a multiple servers. So I need to hit the these servers. I I am just showing to you how to do this. So here local host. What is the port number we have running? It's working or not? Let I will show you first. The port we have. Okay. First, we need to 1004. But first, the request 1004. Great API is. Okay. Okay. One, not a great. Here is. Uh, what is that endpoint we have in the web API? Say hello. Hello and name. Let me see. Localhost 100 slash hello slash VBA. Right. Now we get the response also. Now let me check. Uh, 101, we get the response. Right. 10 after Z. It's working or not. I am showing to the port. 2 also is working perfectly. If you change the one. Two, we 2 is coming and the 3 3 server is also running that's okay and uh, fourth server let me check fourth server ah, just uh, fifth server is there or not let me see. not there fifth server yes you can get it now fifth server is not there that's why it's fourth server is there fourth okay now now i am just hitting <clears throat> This API, Vivek API, okay. This time I'm hitting 101 is greeting. Not right ever. Greet Vivek. Okay. Let me see which port is running. Why? Well, because internally we change the something. Why? Well, because we change the name of that microservices, web app, right? What is that uh, name? Hello. So we just put this name inside the Fink client where we provide a Fink client our Fink client implementation here, here. Just V and save it. Now we can get it. So it's just to you it should be restarted again. Downwards. It should be up, then you can hit the send point. Yeah, up and hit it. Now this, this one. We wake ITSP. Right. We get it. Okay, now I want to see the port also. It is hitting a different, different port. Right now, it's now just refresh this, refresh this. It is coming the response from the different, different port. Let me show you how we can do this. Okay, in the web app here, just we take one, <clears throat> what is that? Environment, private, environment, ment, environment, E and V. Okay. And add the rate auto wired, inject this auto wired. Okay, so now, um, here you can 
perfect so now let's refresh this okay perfectly only do these things do these changes on your phone then you can identify the server is coming the request now let's see now it's first is goes equals to 101 now let's see second is 3 1 2 4 3 0 3 1 2 0 1 2 it's a defining on the port like it's going First, it will go. First, it will decide their path. First, okay, see. One, two, four, zero, three. One, two, four, zero, three. One, two, four, zero, three. One, four, one. Oh, sorry. Let me see. It will go into the round robin fashion, right? It will not change the round robin fashion. Here you can see. First, it will go one. First, it is not depending on that. First, it will go in the zero, four, follow that zero sequence. Zero after the zero is three. Okay. First, it will be zero, three, one, zero, three, one, two, zero, three, one, two, four, zero, three, two, four, one. 0, 3, 2, 4, 1. 1 is the last. Always 1 is coming from the last. You can observe it. 1 is coming from the last, right? So, this is the load balancing is happening. Right? So, load balancing is completed, guys. I think you understood about this. So, just I am putting these things, okay? So, mm -hmm, okay. Uh, okay. So something, so I need to, how to, mm -hmm, how to, how to, the size. Okay, just want to see, let me start that my skin sorter. I will, I will, I will write that points also, how we can do this, okay. Load balancing. So take a snap. Okay, not this. Close this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we have a problem with the load balancing. We have copy this and go and where we can put it here. Uh, yeah, okay, so now next is this one. Copy this and paste it. Okay. Yeah. This is about that load balancing. Yeah. We need to put up okay. load balancer. So here, <clears throat> what is that load balancer? Load balancer distribute the request to the multiple servers. Right now we distribute in a, run the welcome API in that like welcome API is the here we can change to here. Hello, web API. API in multiple instances or like multiple servers. Then how we can run this? We had how to run the application in multiple instances 
in local in local in local so now how so first first thing the steps the steps so here first <clears throat> remove the port from by proper by ml5 from by ml5 by ml by ml5 and second step pass select the project select the project project and select the project select the project then run configuration run configuration after the run configuration select select what is it where we need to select vm na? vm we need to select okay just right click select run and uh, do, do, do configuration here you can select this and you can pass iphone d server dot just i am passing Run, run configuration. Okay. Select the project like that. Argument. Okay. So I need to pass select this first this project. Select the arguments and pass the VMs. Right and click on that. Okay. Select what is it? Then configuration, select argument and pass port inside, inside, pass port inside, BM, BM, hyphen, BM argument. arguments passing that port is nothing but hyphen d server dot port request to one like that like that we can load one let's see how to run just I need to how to run application in multiple instance in <clears throat> local. Okay, so now I need to add add one page and paste one thing here. Okay, auto scaling. Okay, so now those people are watching my uh, AWS video, AWS session, where I am uh, teach you what is the auto scaling. So auto scaling is nothing but auto scaling is nothing but what is that? Auto scaling is nothing but what is that? Auto scaling that automatically decrease the number of servers, increase the number of servers, so we can. Resolve lot of things. Suppose we get the big million in that uh, servers, so we need a more server, like ten thousand million of servers. We need. Okay, suddenly the traffic is coming, uh, so we need a more server. So this, do you think this is the good way to go and do like manually thing? No, 
this is not a recommended way to do just performing auto scaling in that server side we are performing auto scaling but in the client side we cannot perform the auto scaling okay so server side we can perform the auto scaling the auto scaling load balancing is a different scenario and auto scaling is a different scenario both are two different things okay don't think this is the okay. uh, the load balancing is just to distribute that uh, request to multiple servers but auto scaling is increase the servers based on your request coming from that end users so this is that's why high availability is like cost management is there cost management means when the uh, when uh, the uh, traffic is less then this will automatically remove that all the servers okay so up to this is completed guys so here <clears throat> you can see suppose in the some other time some other time we get the less server less request like request is coming so they will uh, just remove this all the servers automatically and uh, in the client side it is i'm talking to you i'm client side about the like it used to scale up or scale down the servers to run our application based on incoming traffic right fault tolerance we resolve high availability we resolve okay and cost management also so thank you though it's taking too much time okay so next video i will implement the api gateway so today we completed uh, like this session we completed load balancing using think clients okay so i think uh, uh, you got the clarity about this just one more time you can hit it here you can see uh, herbert one to all the same pattern it will follow they go last we waited now zero one four three two one zero one four three two one zero one four like that it will get in. so this is happening by using okay so thank you we will meet in the next session those are people watching the video thank you thank you please share with your friends